So okay guys, today we're going to see dynamic net. So I have taken routers, switch, and PCs, and I have used server. So as in our previous video, we have the chatting net, the configuration, the setup is almost same. So we're using a server and two host PC, and these are connected to switch, and switch is connected with our routers. So let's connect them with wires. So, as we have learned in the previous videos, how to connect them with this straight wire. To connect the router to router, so we have to use, uh, should I have, should I say, we are using, okay, we, have, we are using this serial port, so, we need to create serial port here. So turn up the router, drag it on. So serial port is created. So in this case, I have already created the serial port. So now we are good to use this crossover connection or just serial port. So we need serial port to use a crossover way. So I have already assign IP addresses to this PC from this server so we can jump into CLI commands to configure the routers no enable the router on so go to the configuration mode and type int cross ethernet 0 by 0 so which is this uh, this interface so enter IP address the IP address for this interface is 10.0.0.3. So just write 10.0.0.3. Space the subnet mask. In this case, subnet mask is 250.0.0. So I enter no shit exit. So we are down this interface. Now we're going to configure this interface, which is a serial port 0 by 0 by 0 in my case. It, would be, it might be different for you, so you have to be careful about this. So write int serial 0 by 0 by 0 Enter IP address So in my case IP address is 20.0.0.0.1 Sorry 1 and the southern mask is same as of, uh, previous network So 255.0.0.0 So enter We have to assign a clock rate Clock rate which we are going to use 64,000 by default. So now no shut and exit. So we're done with this interface also. We're done with this router. So now let's configure this router. Go to CLI. No. Enable the router. On. Let's see, we're going to configuration mode, so right interface. So in this case, I'm going to configure this interface first, which is fast Ethernet 0 by 0 in this my case. So IP address I'm going to assign to this interface is 30.0.0.2, and the sudden mask is also 255 in this case. So uh, no shut now and exit from here. This interface. So, move it aside. Oh, all right. Now we have configured this interface. We can see this green signals, green indicator. So now configure this. I'll configure this interface, which is serial interface. So okay, int serial zero by zero by zero. So the IP address for this interface is 20.0.0.2. So the southern mask is 255.0.0.0. Now enter. So here we don't have to assign clock rate. This clock sign is this side. There is no clock sign here, so you don't have to assign a clock rate. So now we're gonna write no shit. Exit. So we have configured the router. So 
in this up, up until now we have learned it so you have seen this uh, i have done this in our previous videos so i hope you have uh, good understanding up until now of this video how to configure routers now we're gonna jump into dynamic net so so firstly we're gonna go to this router and go to cli mode up and configuration mode make sure you're in configuration mode and write access access list then you can use any number between 1 to 90, 99 permit so have to assign uh, write the ip address of this network which is the private network in this case and 20.0.1 one is public net network for this two pc so permit 10.0.0.0 and i have to write the wildcard mask this is the reverse of seven so so i have already taught you how you can do, uh, find out this wildcard mask of any ip address so just uh, uh, so convert the IP address into uh, binary and convert all the 1 into 0 and 0 into 1 and then convert into decimal again you will find the wildcard mask so in this case wildcard mask is uh, 0 0.255.255.255 so this is the wildcard mask so now let IP net pool we have to create a pool so I have you can use any name for this pool i am using public you can use any name for this pool name this is the pool name public is the pool name and i have to assign the ip address of uh, so we are creating a pool inside this network which is 20.0.0.0 so the pool is starting from 20.0.0.1 till 20.0.0.10 so okay we're creating a pool so the name of the pool is public so we have done a mistake net we have a misspelled net okay now we also have to also have to write the net mask which is net mask net mask uh, which looks like 255.255.255.240 so I'll enter so press it again IP net public starting from 20.0.0.1 till 20.0.0.10 and the net mask and the net mask in this case is 255.255.255.240 now we have to write IP net inside. So IP net inside is this portion is IP net inside. This is outside. So in this case, IP net inside we write source list ten pool public. So we have used ten address. and this the, the pool name is public so in this case you were doing pet which is private address translation so you just have to write overload here and you, it will work as pet that's the difference between dynamic net and pet dynamic pet so i'm not going to show pets i'm not showing ip net so just i have write ip net inside source list then pool public public is the pool name and the size of the pool is 10 so the next we have to do is have to define a default route which is in this case ip route 
so default root we have learned previously to default root is 0 by 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 and the submit mask of that root is also 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 so now I have to assign a port number in which we are going to send message and we want to send from any message from this uh, PC through this router and we want to use this interface so as we are for making this video short so we are just uh, translating this private address to this uh, this public addresses so it could do the same for this server so whenever you are sending a file from server to uh, PC it's gonna translate this address to this IP address this private IP address to this public address and send it over here and this public address will be translated into private address for this PCs so right now enter so we are done with this um, private net private sorry sorry net dynamic net so let's try and send some matches so it might not working first attempt so we get on you gotta keep trying and it's gonna definitely work so so one thing I really want to show you is let's go back to the hash mode exit from here configuration go to hash mode right debug IP net so, so whenever you send a message or something what's wrong with your man So let's try again. So after a few attempts, uh, I hope it's gonna work. And thank you very much. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And thank you. Goodbye.